All right, guys, American Trucker here. Hey, I know it's been a while since I made a video. I've been busy. That's a good thing. Um, they don't really mean that. That's just a suggestion. I'm just kidding. I'm not parking in the fire zone. Right here is where they're talking about parking right here. I'm actually parked, as you can see right here, but outside of that fire zone area it's actually a designated parking spot the place i'm parked in this building here is closed but you know of course they still have a, a loading and un unloading zone so in case you guys are wondering um that's me right there america first transportation llc been doing well uh, i used to drive for prime if you're new to this if you've watched my channel um then you know that but uh i've done a lot of changes since my last video and i've been working pretty hard um let me start this truck real quick and get cool it down a little bit i'm about to take off so i'm kind of in a hurry i didn't plan this video haven't made one in a while so i figured i'll just jump on here and make one real quick but um i have a night our 2019 freight liner cascadia Break shaker whatever people want to call it make fun of or whatever say it's the they can say what they want but i challenge anybody on when it comes to uh fuel mileage which is if you're new to the channel it's your biggest expense is fuel if you're not then you already know that um so fuel mileage is why i bought this truck originally um another reason is that's what i drove when i first started driving the exact same year exact same model so i was comfortable and i knew all about uh, the vehicle itself, of course, I didn't drive the same vehicle that I leased my first year, but I bought the same vehicle, the same model, same year. Um, so I knew all the ins and outs to it. Um, and I've had hardly any breakdowns now, and I have, now I got 662,000 miles on it. Um, and I got a really good deal on it at that time, right, when I bought this. It's been a couple of years now. Um, you can get an even better deal on it now but i'm not complaining you can get pretty much 25 percent better deal 30 percent better deal than i got two years ago if you get something very comparable to what i got two years ago but i made plenty enough money to justify what i did pay for this by the way if you haven't watched the video in a while my beard is out of control it used to be small short whatever and it's out of control but um anyways so i uh, left for prime of course i uh, left leasing prime contracted on to prime pulled a little bit of freight for a little bit and then moved out on my own and um since then i have tried drive van on the spot market just to, just to see just to get the experience if nothing else and um i was doing pretty decent there for a little bit but it was too much hassle for what it was paying basically um sort of I can't, still can't complain. And then when you don't have a truck payment and things like that, and you keep your expenses low, it makes a big difference. Um, but I kind of moved on over to, I'll show you what I'm doing now. And it ain't no joke. <laughs> it's work, that's for sure. But, um, so there we go. Flat bedding. The one thing that I said that I would not do, because I'm not sure if the work or effort is worth the money or not. Well, right now, it is based off the market the conditions um tarpon is a beast i promise you you sweat your you sweat a gallon of water out tarpon at least i i did for sure um the better i get at it though the more efficient i should say that i get at it the um the easier it gets it's not as bad but man it is no fun those tarps are 27 feet long these particular tarps are eight foot this way, eight foot across, and eight foot on the other side, and they are heavy. I'm a pretty good sized guy as far as, you know, I stay in shape, I stay in the gym, but rolling one of these up and just lifting it up onto the, from the ground to the trailer is no joke. It is no joke at all. Um, so anyways, it's work. I promise you, if you want to do flatbedding, and you don't mind sweating every single day almost if you're if you're changing loads every day it's work 
but right now the payoff is worth it so the payoff is definitely worth it um, I'm looking into other options for sure and um, let me see if my buddy's back here he's not back here so there's a particular planet fitnesses that I park at I go all over of course the I stay in the east mostly but um there are certain planet fitnesses I park at this is one particular spot that I know I can get every single time when I come here and I even got a um, I guess you could say security guard we, we've had an understanding that there's a guy that there's my truck here this is where I park at but he always sleeps right here he's probably gone for the day and it's a homeless guy and normally you know it is what it is everybody's got their own opinions about that but and I'm not even going to make this video about that but me and him has come to an understanding that every time I come here, I park here and um, at, at night during the day or whenever he sees my truck here, he watches over my stuff. Um, and if I know he's back here at nighttime or whatever, and I'm sleeping, he's sleeping. I watch, you know, I watch his back, he watches mine. And, um, you know, in return, I used to take him over here to Taco Bell or, or something like that. Um, have him do something for me in return, you know, maybe feel like, you know, earn lunch breakfast or dinner and then usually like right now before i leave out of here he's gone doing whatever he's doing for the day and um you know i'll leave some snacks and stuff for him get erased stuff like that it's hot out here so um but anyways i definitely don't do that many places As a matter of fact this is the only place i even have that kind of um connection with but uh you know it's hard there's a lot of people out here that it's self-inflicted as far as you know being homeless and or lack of effort but you know some people you know just can't quite get it all together but anyways I'm not I said I won't get off on that topic trust me I could say a lot about good and bad about that but situation but anyways so yeah flat bedding um, it's paying well right now at least with the company that I'm with um, I'm not going to get too much in the money because I know there's a lot of people out there struggling right now. And uh, I used to talk about the money a lot when I was at Prime. But the more and more I see people out here struggling, I think they're just with the wrong company or they have the wrong setup or something. But, you know, I'm doing well, but I'm not saying that in a bragging way. I'm just saying if you're not, if it's, some, if it's something you can't do anything about you have a terrible driving record or something like that and people won't put you on because of their insurance that's one thing but if it's not something like that holding you back then if you're out here complaining saying you're doing making terrible money but you're willing to do whatever it takes flat bedding or whatever at the moment looks go look into other options you know i understand if you only have six months in you don't have that many options but if you have more than two years in which is what most people's going to want you to have and a you know clean record or decent record driving record and you and you not had 20 jobs in the last two years then man there's there's places out there where you can get paid very well if you're willing to do the work um so but anyways um a little bit off topic dump trucking i'm looking into dump trucks so i'm thinking about buying a dump truck and putting someone on in that dump truck i've already done a lot of research in my area for the most part I'm in East Tennessee and um, I'm thinking about buying a dump truck and, and, and getting a driver and already got a couple people lined up that I think is willing and would do it um, but if you guys have any comments about dump trucking um, let me know what you think about that local dump trucking hauling rock sand um, gravel rock whatever um, demolition you know maybe even uh, um, you know doing pavement stuff like that but anyways, dump trucking, I feel like there's a, uh, there's money to be made there, but I've talked to a lot of people in dump trucking over the last few months, and it's a lot like semi-trucks as far as you talk to somebody about driving a tractor trailer or semi-truck, they'd be like, oh, it's terrible, you can't make any money, you're going to go broke. And then you got this guy over here who's got a $5 million mansion, um, and he says he make it all, made it all in trucking, and, you know, maybe over 20, 30 years, but, you know, he says he made it in, in two years or something. You got people all over the place. It's the truth probably somewhere in the middle. I'm thinking this the same way about dump trucking because I'm running kind of into the same situation as far as, let me set this down. 
as far as um, talking to people about dump trucking and the pay, you know, etc. So if any of you guys know about dump trucking, let me know about that. And, I, and I'm sure it's different for ge geographical areas uh, up north versus down south, um, winter dump trucking, summer dump trucking, you know, stuff like that. So, but anyways, that's it. I've been flatbedding, doing well, having no issues. Matter of fact, I've been out here for about five weeks straight now, I think. I'm gonna take a month off. I'm gonna take the whole month of, well, the rest of the July off starting on the, on the 4th. Um, I'm gonna take the rest of July off, go on a little vacation with the wife. And, um, you know, the setup I'm at now, I can work whenever I want. And that's, this is, this is exactly what I wanted at the very end. You know, at Prime, you can only take 30 days at a time without losing your seniority or something like that. Here, if I say I wanna take six months off, you know, I still gotta pay the insurance. That'd be my only recurring cost. And I could drop that down to minimum if I wanted to take six months off, I could take six months off and I could turn right around and on a six month and one day, go right back to work. Um, not that I would do that unless I meet a few more financial goals that I'm trying to currently meet at the moment. Um, maybe one day I'll get there. Um, we'll see. But right now I'm out here getting it, um, working hard, playing hard. And, um, you know, the, the market, I guess, overall is not that great, but you got to find those niches during those times. So make yourself marketable. Keep your record clean. If you're new, keep your record clean. You're just going to have to grind, get some seniority, get a year, at least a year in before too many companies will look at you. Again, it's because of insurance, not because they don't want to hire you. Trust me, they want to hire you. It's, it's their insurance. Like the place where I'm at now, the insurance, they wouldn't even put me on their insurance. So the company couldn't hire me unless I had two years in. That was their requirement because they're because they have good insurance rates and they want to keep them like that um so this uh so get some time in get some seniority in, keep your record clean and then shop around don't wait till you get two years in to start looking at jobs that require you to have two years get a year in year and a half in and start talking to these people start talking to guys locally where you live at you can still do otr if you want more than likely but um you could find someone local around you where you can come home and park your truck at the shop or trailer or whatever the case and you know and just be it's a lot more convenient that way so not that i needed to be parking at home at prime but if i needed services or something done and i wanted it done at the prime yard well they're in springfield missouri and i live in east tennessee where i'm at now the place that i work with has a shop a maintenance shop five minutes from my house so i drop it off there and i, and I go home um, and, and it's, you know it's a lot more convenient that way but um it's a local mom and pop shop that i that i work at drive for i guess you could say least on to um it's getting hot and uh but we have you know an agreement i'm not gonna go over what we split but it's a pretty good split it's better than what i've got at prime as far as percentage wise um but you know the expenses are a little bit different so anytime anybody starts talking about money it's all great and all when they tell you how much they make and all that but for you new drivers you got to know especially when they talk about gross you got to know what the expenses are What's the gross? That's fine if they tell you that. But what really matters is what's the net, right? The gross is overall pay. Everybody gets from the top. And then it gets split down from the person you're leased on to. Or, if, you know, if you work for Prime, for Prime, and then for you, and then et cetera, et cetera. If you're getting paid, you know, by the percentage. If you're getting paid company, that's different. You're probably getting paid per mile or by the hour. That's easy to figure out. But people get on YouTube and they start talking about gross and throwing these huge numbers out. If they don't start breaking down all the way down to their net what's in their pocket and they need to break it down all the way down to everything but taxes um, and then from there that's going to start really different different for every person but I hate the gross number I really do I want to know what the net number is at the end of the day what am I walking away with in my hand after all expenses other than taxes and then i'll have to go figure that up and you'll have to go figure that up on your own and um if you give it someone who's experienced they can kind of help you out and give you a good estimate about what that would be um and then of course it comes down at, at after that point to you know your cpa your tax attorney or whatever the case may be how much of you know that number that you predicted you were going to have to pay are you actually going to pay at the end of the year or end of each quarter but all right now i'm probably rambling it's almost 15 minutes now but that's what I've been up to. 
Um, I'm looking into a lot of different options right now as far as um, stuff outside of trucking, semi-trucking at least anyways. Um, looking into dump trucking a little bit now and um, seeing what we can't get going on that end. But all right, guys, that's it. Um, I'll try to do another video here pretty soon, give a little better update. Uh, plan it out a little bit, maybe write a few things down, key points that I want to touch on or talk about, and then um, go from there. If you've got any questions or comments, I've been really lacking. I know people have been looking at some of my older videos and making comments, and I haven't got back to got to them yet. I'm going to try my best to get back to those, uh, maybe even on vacation, because I'll be sitting around, hopefully lounging on the beach, and um, um, you know, have some time on my hands to be able to relax a little bit, and then I might try to go through some of those old uh, comments um, they all every one of them goes to my Yahoo account on my email so I can just kind of filter through those and just and just look at those comments and try to reply to some of those about prime so um, I worked for them for two years so if you got any questions I'll still try to help you out but I'm not up to speed on the latest and the greatest of what's going on exactly at prime um, so I'll just do the best I can as far as giving you an idea about trucking in general getting into trucking how to you know to go about or at least how I went about studying for these uh, CDL exam, written exam, things like that, that might make your life a little bit easier. Um, some ways to pay for school if you don't have, or if you don't think you have a way, I, I guarantee there's probably a way you can pay for school. Um, it just depends on what you're willing to do to pay to get that school paid for. Uh, just some different options that you may not have thought about or something, you know, kind of outside of the box that other people may not have told you about. So um, I usually don't ask, I usually don't care. I've never made a penny off of, of YouTube, but if you want to subscribe, go ahead and do that now. Um, if you liked the video a lot, um, go ahead and put that in the comment. If you didn't like it, put that in there as well. Tell me why. Um, I'm just trying to help people out. I'm not here to make any money. Like I said, I've never made one penny off of YouTube. Don't plan on it. I'm not doing this for a business or anything like that. I'm just just trying to help some people out because when I start when I first started got into when I first got into trucking. I looked at a lot of YouTube videos and that's where I got um, a lot of opinions at least and then you know maybe some facts maybe some fluff just to, just depend on which video you watch but um, it actually helped me out overall though as far as making a decision um, on how to get started and some things I wanted to accomplish so um, if I helped you out at all like it if I didn't you know leave the comment tell me why um, or what could I, what do you want to hear about in the next video and I'll try to do a video on that but if not, subscribe, and I'll check y'all guys out on the next video. All right, American Trucker, I'm out.